In this video, I'm going to be breaking down one of my favorite man-beating plays in Madden 23 right now, and it comes to us out of the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. I just released my New Orleans offensive ebook last week on my Patreon page. If you're not a Patreon member yet, I would really encourage you to consider joining. It's only $10 to sign up, and it gets you access to all of our ebooks, any updates to new ebooks or any new ebooks we release while you're a member, while you are a member. So if you want to sign up for that, it's just 10 bucks to get signed up. The link is in the description down below if you want to check that out. But today we're going to be taking a look at Saints in this is in the New Orleans Saints um, offensive playbook. And again, like I said, we're going to be going over the play Saints in. So what we're going to do with this from a setup perspective is actually fairly simple. You don't need any route abilities, hot route master, any of that stuff. I just have the bucks on here just because I'm laughing with them. Um, but this is how I like to utilize this play to be able to attack man coverage. And what we're going to do is we are going to slant uh, Jones. We are going to streak this tight end break. And then we are going to out route uh, our running back. So you see we're going to run a five out setup with this. And you're going to see that this is pretty effective against man-to-man. -man. Now, uh, the first read that I like to look at here quick is this little uh, slant and out route kind of pick play. What I like about this play is that the, um, the out route from Mike Evans, especially if they're not pressing, is really good against non-pressed man coverage. The slant route, if they are pressing, will oftentimes get picked, as you just saw. So here's off coverage. I'm going to pass lead that outside. And you see we're going to have a simple little way um, to attack man-to-man -man coverage quick you know, in this play. Now, you can if you wanted to. You can leave this running back on the in route that he was already on. Um, that would save you a hot route. Uh, so you can feel free to do that as well. Uh, what will happen is he'll kind of be a little drag, and it creates kind of a meshing combination over the middle. The reason I like to out route him is primarily for zone coverage. So if you know it's man to man, leave him on this in route. This in route is much better against man to man. And then you also have that slant coming backside. Now the main route on this play is actually going to be this post to Chris Godwin. And what you're going to see with this post is when he cuts inside, he almost always will beat man coverage. It's one of the more consistent plays we have this year uh, at attacking man to man, whether they're pressed, whether they're not pressed, especially if you put short and a lead on him, um, that's going to help him kind of be a little bit more consistent for you. But you see here that just that angle, he kind of just basically stems the DB and then gives you that sharp cut back inside uh, to be able to get some separation. Now, this little running back in route, uh, what you'll see here, it won't always beat man, um, but I just find it's much better than anything else this year from a running back perspective. Um, you know, the, the in route to me and these little sharp cutting in routes specifically are always pretty decent against man. Um, so, you know, so, so just kind of like, again, if it's more man coverage heavy, I would leave him on that in route. If it's more zone coverage heavy, I want to show you why the out route is really important. Because now we're going to be able to stress the flats on both sides of the field. So what you're going to see is if they're not playing hard flats, Mike Evans is going to have that little window to be able to be pass led outside to get separation against the zone. And then the same thing with this running back out route. You'll see here, he's just going to threaten those flats really quickly. Get out there and you're going to see... You know, again, just simple reads. So what that forces the defense to have to do is it forces them to have to play hard flats on both sides. And so when they have to play hard flats on both sides, now my post is going to be significantly more open in the middle of the field because oftentimes it's going to mean there's not going to be as many people in the middle of the field. The other thing that it means whenever you force them to play hard flats is your check down. Let's say they go user the post, your check down is going to be open late because those hard flats are going to come down and that running back out route is going to pull the hard flat over the middle. Now let me show you what this looks like. Let me just go to like a cover four. If we don't have the running back on the out, you'll see this hard flat will play a little better um, against the slant. Still wasn't able to get back there. So for what it's worth, you know, you could just use the running back in route all the time. But I just find that this running back in route really forces them to have to play hard flats on both sides, which is then going to open up your route to Julio Jones over the middle of the field. You see here, again, they're not playing hard flats. I can just throw that out route, and you see how effective that is. Um, you know, so those are some of my my favorite reads on this play. Um, from a zone perspective, this 
post is so good uh, just because it attacks, it stems, sets him up, then comes under, and a lot of times it's going to just give you this really nice window to be able to throw it you know, right over in that area. Now, you do want to throw this a little differently depending on the zone that you're facing. So, like, if it's cover two, what you want to do is you want to kind of wait and get underneath that deep third or middle third that could be running over the middle. And then if it's cover four, this is where you want to throw this a little bit earlier than you normally would. So if they're sitting there, you want to throw that kind of right in there. And you've got to cut that off before that safety comes over to make a play on the ball. So as you can see, this is a really effective man and zone beater out of the Saints playbook. If you would like to learn my entire New Orleans Saints offense, make sure you join our Patreon. That's where you'll get access to my New Orleans offensive ebook, as well as all of our other offensive and defensive ebooks that we've released so far this year, and any new ebooks released while you are a member. We also update these ebooks from time to time, just as the meta shifts and we find new things. And you get access to all that by being a Patreon member. So if you want to sign up, to go check that out, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.